Man, there's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. I fucking know. Oh, no. Huh? Look out! Huh? That's where that came from. Okay. Huh? Huh? Oh. Jacob? Oh, God. This can't be happening. Jacob! Jacob! Oh, he got over his brother's death really fast, didn't he? The junkie. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. See you later, dude. They might know something about this. Was, thanks for watching a little bit. It was great. Thank you so much. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please, forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Wait! Yes? I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. I am well, nice. Mm -hmm. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. It's a shame about the older lad. Was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Basement floor. Never got access to this, so let's go. There should be a weapon down here too. postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like.
Oh, thanks, uh, Gecko. I didn't see your message. Sorry. So I was paying attention to this. So I was getting my ass kicked. Thank you, dude. Thanks for, um... Thanks for saying that, man. I'll be... Man, you help me out so much, man. Please don't let that be the boss battle. I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, let's go back. That was scary. I could have freaking. Damn. Could have missed out on the weapon. Really? Does it take this out to load? Yeah, man. Thank you, Gecko. If you're listening to this, man. Thank you so much. It was awesome. What an awesome, awesome day. Wow. That's a big robot boy. Oh, shit. Okay, that's new. Pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Better not. Well, actually... What? This is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Is we have some free time on our hands. Popola said we might be able to find something in the Forest of Myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a treat. Let's go. Ah, the home of that blasted dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. I swear to God, I hear you. text to speak West in this game. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prayer. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. I'll go investigate your tree. This was not in the game. Well, I think it kind of was. Hold on. Okay, this is fucking creepy. Hmm. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. It's the 
Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. No! <laughs> no! Black pure darkness painting over everything! Words get here and there's nothing but blackness. Kind words, difficult words, or murderous words, all sparkling on the name of the jewels. Oh my god. Uh, grabbing the words of desperation, the tree turned into the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of a wind through the leaves. This is not how it's supposed to be. Oh my god. And there's a freaking mouse cursor. There you go. The plan failed once long ago. The tree was made for everything about the world. This is the task, its function, its purpose. You serve it with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of clan kind. This was not an accident. Motions were so high a part of a tree. It rooted in work. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they had formed a web that spanned the entire world, worlds collapsed into the sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the mold of memory. From the pool, the wards joined together from the colonies, the colonies united into war pools of light, and the light it correlates into the stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He is far too young to have to suffer so. Then, bound words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleed sheets upon the new he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have no longer since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, wireless hatred, has smelled within the dark races of his young heart. He tried to reject the black terror and generate his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. He has long ceased to resent his parents' indulgence once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in the heart to think of others. God. Only one person to bring the boy comfort, a healthy young girl with a tan skin and deep blue eyes. She is a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. Her presence, her very presence is a comfort to him, but he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon, his loathing eats away at what joy he receives in the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. To he knows this. His every walking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, he would just, you know, stop being a bitch and just talk to her and tell her how he feels. Anyways, the girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree sculpts with the memory and carefully stores it within itself, etched upon its single word, enemy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears and the enemy arises, another and another. The warrior knows her struggling folly, but fighting an unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug addled mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream she does not know. Her friends are full of fellow warriors and go, wait, her friends and fellow warriors come and go, some flee in terror, some are eaten. She began the flood with 33, 23 companions, but most are gone now. The warrior body shudders. She's not understanding why at first. By the time she hears the fierce hello howl and the arena already closed, in closed in darkness, looking up the warrior, she sees a beast so large that it blows out the skin. And she's laughing. She's looking. She has been doing so far as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town contains her lap. Her daughter's class into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for a long time, and it is the word lost. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, the memory has been lost. A shame. It was my favorite of mine. After many centuries of existence, the trees saw this carefully labeled memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness like this. Grief was the emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the secret feeling that someone, something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree, in, in, uh, the tree stretched its branches as far as it could, but new memories refused to flow. The pool of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where a life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to do. There was nothing to be done. 
a swift through the few remaining memories listening around the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room, the room Azra had entered are almost completely empty. As all he could see was a few crystals scattered her raptor oh my god, on the ground. Picking up one of the crystals and peering into it, Azra suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was the force of the myth. Uh, it's villagers prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, the three thought. That is all that remains. As Ezra started, stared at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored him to listen. It is an order following its mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Look there. A small shadowy presence appeared from the, beneath the floor. It appeared to be a shade. The shade grasped several jewels in his hand. More jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth. Sights and sounds tingling from each, uh, each one before vanishing forever. The creature was abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap play toy, playroom toys. Weiss, this shade appears to be consuming the memories. These things eat memories? The tree extended a tree branch towards Ezra. Without a second thought, Ezra thought his blade down on the shade, turning its stomach wide. Jules burst out of the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, though, the tree. There is a convincing memory, a conviction memory that I have lost. A satisfaction and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennia of silence and its solitude had uh, caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted the developer with a good tree. Focusing all this riddle of power of speech, the tree formed a kind of mixed shape vocal cord and tried again. Ahem, <clears throat> I implore, hack. I spat out a glimmering green gem. Hmm, one more time. I implore you. There we are. That w what was the color of the envy loss? Whoa, shit. Shit! It spoke. This shade has intelligence and emotion. Who cares? Rush by his side and his sword sliced through the shade's right arm. The shade extended its remaining arm to Azrael. I must touch him. I must make contact. The moment its fingers brushed against Azrael, the tree felt a warm sensation to begin to burn, seeing hot course through his fingers, up to its arm, and out of its body experience. It was an emotion more than an entity it had felt in centuries. The tree cried out, cried out in surprise and joy. 1,000 years alone, 1,000 years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart for, for a long century. The tree had been alone. Its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. Nero powerful emotion began to take hold, causing its heart to brighten. This was more than the simple emotion it had been designed to feel. It was the beginning of a soul, and the young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain and a new unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warriors who fought the Red Beast? Oh, it was 23. <sighs> Wait, what? You it was 23. Slip through your... Come on, we have to go back to that. It was 23! I read it! What? What is going on? Does this thing, like, change? That's very clever if it does. Does change.
Okay, riddle time is over. I'm gonna kill this stupid shade once and for all. Something around and shiny fell from his stomach and splattered some floor. The key, cried the book. Secure the key. The man's sword sold. Time to begin to deliver the right around him. Stretching and slowly, time is or something. The, world, the next war must be heard. The world exploded. It became difficult to discern their meaning. The pool met. Oh my god, what is going on? How can I uh, read into your letters? I implore the most important thing. Word. World. Ah, oh, crap. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree identified and began to dissolve. As the letter slowly faded, as it was drawn back to the real world, and the tree was satisfied. Thank baby Jesus. I hate these stupid texts to speak. What in the... I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. Are you foreshadowing? Alright, let's go. We have to do this again. Uh, check to see if the letters arrived for the younger brother. Let's, Let's see if go. the junk heap kid sent us a letter. Alright. I'm so hungry. Dude, I like want to eat like a bing and cheese burrito or something, but it's like 3 a.m. Who's gonna who serves bing and cheese burritos at 3 a.m.? Not me, that's what I am sure. You have a letter. This to inform me the upgrade on your weapon has been completed. The weapon is ready and available for pickup at your earliest convenience. I also have more personal requests for you. Oh, well, we can make discussions for the one you pick up your weapon. The weapon. Personal request. He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. Off to the junk heap then. Let's go! Go! <laughs> Like a bing and cheese burrito from this place. It's crazy, dude. It's huge. And I'm like, oh, will you get on the pig? Get off of me. Get away from me. Motherfucker, stay away from me. The hyo. Come on, let's go. 